Hey everyone, what's happening? Once again, the Hot Master coming at you from the man cave on this very snowy and nor'easter blizzard New York weather that we're having here for another beer review. If you hear yelling upstairs as Poco, he gets very excited with wrestling on TV. Uh, this one is actually left over from Halloween. It's been sitting in the fridge for a couple months. Uh, Thought it'd be nice to just rotate the stock. We'll try this one tonight. Uh, this one is Paranormal Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It comes in at a huge 10% ABV. Uh, this is Flying Monkey, and uh, it says Paranormal is weird. Uh, brewed with pumpkin and spices, special edition. Uh, it's a pretty badass label. Uh, there's a lot going on. You got the Flying Monkey logo. You got different multicolored bats flying by a brain, um, eyeballs popping out of the word, paranormal, uh, you got a, punk, a pumpkin, a spider, eyeball, graveyard, aliens, a monkey alien, a swamp thing. There's a lot of creepy stuff coming, uh, going on with this label. I'll do my best here. And uh, here we go. Uh, extra strong beer. Let's see, 107 Dunlap Street, Ontario, Canada. It says it's, what is it? It's beer, doused with exotic warm spices. This spirited imperial pumpkin ale evokes the aromas of pumpkin pie, graham cracker crust, and the toasty aura of autumn. No, it's not autumn anymore, but we'll go with it. The cult of the pumpkin, pouring with an otherworldly orange glow, the subtle blend of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice swirl in this metaphysical balance of spirited imperial body of this 10% ABV beer, brewed with roasted pumpkin, spices, paranormals, rich mouthfeel, and slightly hazy body emerge from a realm where substance and shadow cross. Pretty cool. Let's see if it lives up to the hype of the can. We all have seen a lot of beers with really cool artwork and sometimes it's worth it and sometimes they're just selling you really good artwork and it's crap in a can. Let's see uh, what this turns out to be. Uh, pouring two glasses, once again, one for me, one for Poco. I like to split my beers. God, I love that sound. Yeah, it looks about right for a pumpkin ale. That light tan, uh, brownish, reddish, uh, almost like a brown ale kind of color. A lot of uh, foam, a lot of head on this one. That's what she said. That's what he said, maybe. Let's see. Put this one off to the side. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, pour it a little heavy. Uh, two fingers of head retention. Uh, very foamy. Let's go in for the uh, smell. Oh my God. Uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. Uh, yeah, it's a cinnamon nutmeg bomb on the nose. Holy smokes. Heavy spices. That's a lot of spices. A lot of, you definitely get that pumpkin pie uh, smell that they're talking about on the can. Now, as far as roasted pumpkin, in my opinion, and most people will probably say the same thing, you're not going to get um, the actual pumpkin taste. Uh, it'll be very hard to pick out. You'd have to have an excellent palate. It's damn near impossible. Um, you always get the pumpkin spices. Uh, a lot of some beers don't even use pumpkin. They used to use pumpkin spices. But um, the pumpkin's good as like a squash. It'll give like a good creamy mouthfeel. It really helps the beer and the, uh, the creaminess. Picking out um, I've done a cream ale where I've used sweet potatoes and all kind of stuff in the, uh, the mash and, and, the, and everything. And you don't taste the sweet potatoes, but it makes it nice and smooth, uh, creamy. It, 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 it adds to like the texture, like it just makes the beer, the feeling of it uh, overall better. So as far as picking out the actual pumpkin flavor itself, uh, it's really not going to happen in my opinion. Uh, feel free to disagree. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone has different taste buds. Um, anyway, let's go in for the taste. I get a lot of the um, pumpkin spice on the taste, nutmeg, and the cinnamon on the back end. It is a little boozy. Uh, you definitely could tell this is high ABV. Um, you get that kind of like 
if you're ever a kid, remember Ocean uh, Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice back in the day when you were a kid, you used to, all you know, the commercials, it's like, like that dryness, that sting, like that. I get that a little bit, a little dryness. And also like a sweetness, like a cinnamon sweetness with the bitterness, um, pretty well balanced. Uh, it's pretty smooth for a 10%er. The color is very, very sexy. It screams fall, it screams Halloween. Beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Look at the what residue left on the grass. Look at it. It's still, it's still there. There's still a little bit of foam uh, swirling it. Excellent. Um, very aromatic beer. Uh, I like it. And um, for a while, I was really big into the pumpkin beers, the pumpkin ales. And then I, I started like, you would get some where they added too much. And as someone that's made beers like this, not as uh, high with the ABV, but I've learned over time, when it comes to adding spices to a beer, a little goes a long way. You can always add more if there's not enough. But once you add it to the beer, you can never take it out. So it's always smart not to overdo it because you could always add more later on. Uh, very important. There's always ways to add it back to the beer, but once you put it in the beer, you're not taking it out. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely in there, but it's not to the point where it's like, Bleh, you know what I mean? So uh, I like it. Um, for this style of beer, um, Imperial Pumpkin Ale, I like it very, uh, might be one of my more favorite ones. My favorite uh, pumpkin style uh, ale has always been Shipyard. Um, <laughs> I, I think this one's got to beat my opinion. Four out of five. This has been a Hot Master Beer Review. This is a Hot Master saying keep on hopping because I know I will. Check us out www.hotmasterbeerreviews.com, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep on hopping because I know I will.